Now remember, if you like this content, <laughs> please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. Hey everybody, this is Six Shot from R uh, with RRC Family Gaming, and today I got a new Golgari Agro Tribal uh, deck. Uh, I call it Nightmare on Elf Street. Sorry, you can't. The name's a little long, but uh, Nightmare on Elf Street. If you know the movies, you know what I'm talking about. But this is where we got elves and we got skeletons, especially with the swarm. Um, so let's go over the deck and then we'll get into some gameplay. I'm going to be playing uh, majority um, ranked. I wanted to do uh, a, a, at least one one or two in non-ranked, but uh, the rest of the matches will be in ranked. All right, so let's go. So the beginning, we got uh, one drops. We got Blood Chief's Thirst. One of the, To me, it's a great removal. It can... Late, early game, late game, it's it's solid. I mean, you know, if they're bigger than two converted, you have to pay the kicker. It costs a little bit extra, but it gets the job done. It kills creatures, and it kills planeswalkers. So I really like it. Uh, Jasper Sentinel, she's awesome. She can make your turn twos look so much better, especially in an elf deck, because of uh, her the way her ability is, where she can tap another creature to create mana. And we have low co a lot of low-costing elves in this deck. Um, we got Blight Blade. He's a he's a speed bump. He's to help against the the stronger aggro decks. Um, and you know he's an elf, so he triggers other things. Um, and he's cheap too. So literally, you could play Sentinel combo with War Master, or play Sentinel. Yeah, Sentinel turn two War Master tap Sentinel War Master. Play the Blight Blade, and boom, you got the Blight Blade out, and you got a token. So yeah, it gets it gets big quick. We got uh, Skimfar Avenger. I got two of these in the deck. Uh, whenever a non-elf token uh, or berserker dies, I get to draw um, a card and lose one life. So it doesn't work for him. So if they spot remove him, that's his weakness. If they spot remove him, they uh, they bypass the drawing. But if they board wipe, when I have a board full of elves, guess what? I'm drawing a lot of cards. The War Master. This guy gets nasty. Uh, you play with elves. You can you can make such a big board state with the War Master. He's so nice, and he's got a nice late game move with the uh, elves you control get plus two plus two and gain death touch. Costs seven, so it's you know it's a lot. It's definitely late game, but it's really nice. Um, and then obviously you know when another elf uh, comes into play, I get to create a green uh, elf warrior token. Uh, the ability only triggers once each each turn though. Um, we got one mass vandal. This is just for enchantment and artifact removal. He also is a shapeshifter, so he fits nicely in the deck because he's still an elf, because he's a shapeshifter. So he's all the creatures, so he fits nicely. Uh, I think, let me look at the deck. There's only a few non-elves in the deck. Uh, one of them is the innkeeper. We're going to be making tokens through the War Master, through the Swarm. So you know what? Innkeeper is really nice. He's not an elf. That's his only downside. But I gain life for every creature that enters the battlefield. That'll help me. Stay alive against the you know the hyper more hyper aggressive decks. He produces a token, so you know he uh, generates mana, so he mana accelerates for you, and he gains you life throughout the game. He's really nice. Uh, we got Realm Walker, another uh, shapeshifter, so it counts as an elf. And then obviously you play the Realm Walker, you say elf because most of the deck is elves. Um, so then you can look at the top of the card, and it kind of has that uh, Vivian effect. Where you can look on the top uh, top of your deck, and if it's a creature that happens to be an elf, you can play it from the top. So that's really nice. Um, uh, Agadine's Awakening, I have one of in here. Let's put them over by the lands. Um, that's so you can, uh, you know, if you get a board wipe, you know, you got all these cheap creatures, you know. You get an Agadine's Awakening, you can bring uh, a good majority of them back. So it's really nice. Um, let's see. We got Toski, my favorite. He's my favorite. I called him first. I'm <laughs> just playing. But yeah, Toski, he's awesome. You guys know I love Toski. Goes great in this deck because, first of all, he sticks around because he's indestructible. He can be countered. And I have a lot of creatures. I'm generating a lot of tokens, a lot of creatures that are going to attack. And I can draw cards. So this is my big draw engine. I have a draw engine with this guy. But this is my better draw engine. Um, and Realm Walkers are considered a draw engine because you can start pulling off the top of your deck. So that, that's the main draw engine right there, these these three creatures. Um, we got one Tyvar Kel. Uh, he gives uh, ramp to my elves, gives them uh, where they can produce black mana. 
Um, his plus one is uh, put a pl plus one plus one counter on target elf, and then I can untap it, and it gains death touch. So that's really nice. I can create an elf. Uh, then again, you know, Tyvar is out, War Master's out. I do the create an elf. Boom. I just created two elves. And if Innkeeper's out, boom, I just gain two life. Um, so that's pretty nice. Um, and then he's got uh, negative six. Whenever you cast an elf spell, it gains haste. And until end of turn, you draw two cards. So that's pretty sick. Actually, his, his uh, ultimate's pretty sweet. Um, I got Herald Unite the Elves here. Now, I really thought about binding. But I wanted to go with a more aggressive approach. And I even thought... I know, I know I'm looking probably silly. I don't have the other elf that gives uh, all my elves plus one, plus one. But I wanted to try something different. I wanted to be able to pump my creatures, but then also kill creatures as well. And, and with the mill, I can uh, bring back a Tyvar or an elf. So I wanted to try it with this. Let's see how it goes. But I think this is really cool, and it gives us, uh, it gives us a way to be more aggressive. Because um, it pumps us on stage two or uh, or saga two, and then on saga three, whenever an elf I control attacks, I can target a creature and that um, uh, a creature an opponent controls and it gets negative one one. So if I attack with four or five elves, you know, and he's got you know these he's got a board of creatures, I can start as I attack, I can dig into them and start uh, uh, sniping them with uh, this ability. So it's really nice. Now here's a little uh little doozy we got the mass wood nexus so i'm playing elves and i got the skeleton swarm right how about we just make everything everything so now if the mass wood is out everything's a everything is an elf slash skeleton slash whatever so that gets a, uh, on, on top of that it gets uh gets you by crippling fear so when you go on against those demir control decks that always seem to have cri uh, crippling fear this, get, this bypasses it because your creatures are every type, so Crippling Fear does nothing. Um, but besides that, look. Elves. Everything's an elf. So I make more tokens. Um, I can peel any creature off the top because everything's an elf. Everything's also... Let's get, let's get to... Let's see. Everything's also a skeleton. So we got the Skeleton Swarm with the Nexus... This thing is sick because what happens is the swarm gives you trample. So you have all these skeletons because everything now is a skeleton with trample. And they get huge because you have all these skeletons. So each skeleton you control has trample, attacks each combat if able. By the way, let's take a pause there. Remember that if you have a mana producer and you need to play something, play it before combat. If not, the, the mana producer is going to have to swing in into, into attack. Don't forget that. I forgot that a couple uh, while I was playtesting. But just, that's why I'm telling you now. Just remember that. You, um, you want to make sure if you want to do anything with mana producers, do it before attack phase. So that way you can get it done. Um, and then uh, attacks each combat if able. And gets plus X plus zero. Where X is the number of other skeletons you control. So your creatures can get big. And at the beginning of your end step, create a tapped 1-1 one, one black skeleton creature token. If a creature died this turn, create two of those tokens instead. So if they kill something on your turn, guess what? Now you're bringing back two more skeletons. That's just going to make your creatures even bigger. Um, and then we also... I love this card. I just think it's so cool. This card is so cool. I know... Um, I think CGB did, did a deck about uh, did a deck with it. Um, he he didn't like it. I mean, he did all right. I think he went six and four, or seven and four with the deck in Mythic. I mean, I, I think that's not bad. But he would just he said he I believe he said he hated the deck, not the deck, but the card. He just didn't like the card. I think he said it was too slow um, on the on the turn. If it, if you didn't get to go first, he said it was too slow. Um, but I, you know, if you make the the card with an aggro type mindset where you're pressuring your opponent you have a bunch of creatures that can block i mean i don't see i think it's awesome i think it's great i think it's great um but we'll see we'll see i guess we'll see in the matches um and then we have the spider queen one of my favorite new planeswalkers i just really like her she's so cool um you know when a creature dies i can put a counter on on her 
Um, her zero ability is a draw a card and lose one life. Um, the negative three ability is create two, uh, one, two, two, one black spider tokens with menace and reach. Those are, those are sweet. And by the way, we got the Nexus out. There are also skeletons and elves. <laughs> so yeah. Um, and then, you know, for her ultimate, you get an emblem. Whenever an opponent is dealt damage by one of more of your creatures, if that player lost less than eight life, eight life this turn, they lose life equal to the difference. So there you go. She's awesome. This is the, the, the lands. I have one um, man land with the hive in black and then one with the hydra, who, by the way, they are elves and skeletons as well. So they'll gain trample. If the nexus is out, uh, they'll gain trample. Um, and then I have four pathways. I do three snarls because I have the pathways. So I don't want to go all four snarls. So I'll do four. I usually do a four three set when that happens. But that's a deck. That's Nightmare on Elf Street. I think it's time. We got to get into the action on this one. I can't wait. All right. Let's see if the elves can rise again. Let's find out. Okay. No black. Let's throw this back. Okay, keep this. Send this back. Since we got the Unite. Which technically has a chance. Alright. Okay, Demir. Okay, Demir Fortel. Alright, no attacks. We'll play Unite the Elves next turn, assuming there's no counter. Who knows? I don't think there'll be a counter because he's going to want to foretell to give him the buff. Yep. Alright, he'll swing in. Maybe? I don't know. Alright, uh, let's go with this. Oh, no elf. That one hurt. And I got rid of a swarm. Okay. Alright, ooh. Topski. Can't be countered. Sweet. Nope. Can't counter that. At least we can start drawing cards. No! He tricked me! Ah, why you gotta do that? The Toski! He's just a little squirrel, man. Alright, um... Oh no, blood in the snow. Well, let's get Toski down. Um, get another squirrel. Hopefully, he doesn't have a way to deal with Toski. Okay. See a Nexus. Nexus. Oh, come on, lands, really? All right. Well, he could be a four-four. It's not bad. He gets over his three toughness. Let's start ramming in. All right, he's just gonna block, I guess. Doesn't want to take that life loss. All right. I got another land, so he'll be a five-five next turn. That has a lot of cards in hand. All right, a devour. Okay, he's gonna foretell probably. Um, I have no idea, but let's, uh, let's play land, let's do this, let's do elf, okay, nexus is out, so that's cool, alright, uh, he's only a 2-2, two -two. he won't be able to get through, so uh, no need to make him. OK, 
Okay. Alright, he's targeting my card. Alright, returning it. He's probably gonna get um uh shoot. What is it? The token? The one that makes three tokens. Oh no, he's getting more land. Okay. Come on. I need a swarm. Against these type of decks where they kill everything, this is what this is where the swarm comes in handy. Because then um Alright. Let's do this guy first. Elf. Now let's do Max uh Mask Wood. Alright. We didn't get we didn't have any mana to play. Okay, so this is gonna die again. Right, what do we got? Okay, so he's gonna draw a ton of cards. So we're gonna play Professor Onyx, maybe? What is he gonna do? Okay. So he wants to make sure he has six lands. I don't think he played his land yet, so I'll still give him six. Oh no. Alright, did not hit the. Um, fortunately, did not hit the uh, thing. Let's play this. Oh, counter. Yeah. Okay. I will activate the ability. Um, I'll activate the ability on the next uh, next turn. This generate a token. Okay. Let's at least make some tokens. So now, technically, I could swing in with three. Ooh, the swarm. All right. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I can make them a six. Start bashing in. Okay. What's he got? What's he got? I'll run. Poison Cup. Behold the Multiverse. Rippling Fear doesn't work, bro. Got Mask Wood. I got Mask Wood, and they're shapeshifters. That's not gonna work. It's alright. It happens. Okay. Let's go ahead. And I really, really, really hope that's not a counter spell. No counter spell. Okay, it's a counter spell. Man, goodness gracious. Okay, what is that? Three. Okay, that's enough to make a token. Let's go ahead and attack. Then I'll make a token at the end of his turn. Wait to the end of his turn to make my token. Okay, looks like he's gonna foretell. Okay. My turn. Okay. Let's play this. Let's play this. Ooh, we got another swarm. Okay. Um Let's see if anything dies. Because if anything dies, I can get this form out after combat. 
Uh, no. Nothing died. Dang. That sucks. Oh, it's returning my... My divide by zero. Alright. He's probably gonna get the, um... The mascot? Oh, no. You're just gonna... He didn't have the mascot? Okay. Alright, I got this. Swarm's coming down. Let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I can play both next turn. This is gonna be nice. This is gonna be nice. Uh, no block there. Alright. Swarm! Unite! Maxis! Alright, there we go. Okay, that's the game. Good game, good game. Alright, let's see. See what, uh, see if the elves can make a comeback here. Managa. All right, Managa. All right, let's go. Keep. Play the snarl. Let's go. Come on, nightmare on Elf Street. Let's go. Let's give this guy some nightmares. Come on. All right. Uh, let's do black here. Um, play this. Okay, so we can do Toski next turn. Or we could do Realm Walker, save the token. There's a couple things we could do. Um, yeah, let's do, well, it's a 2 2, so I can't attack in. Um, if I do Realm Walker, I'll do Realm Walker. Helps. And then we'll. Um, no. Oh, uh, I thought I, uh, I can't attack in. No attacks. Mess that up. I could have got one point of debt. No. What am I doing? Right there. Woo! Almost had a mistake. All right. Play the thing. Just tap this one. I missed one point of damage. Hopefully that doesn't come back to haunt us. All right, next turn, let's get the, uh, the elves out. Actually... Um, let's, yeah, let's get the elves out. Oh, the Nexus. Um, two, three. I can attack with that. Okay, play. Nope, let's do it this way. Oh, he won't get the buff, but, um, let's see. All right. If I have to, I'll chomp block. I don't want to take 16 damage. He's got a lot of mana open, so that's a lot of cheap spells he can play. So I'll probably have to chomp block with the Sentinel, and I'll do it on the Luminancer, because every spell he gets, he gets plus two. Versus this guy, is just plus one. Okay. Okay, draw. Okay, swings in. I guess I don't have to chump block. Okay. What do I want to do here? I want to get the Toski down. That's a nice chump block, and he's indestructible. Um, we got to get this guy down too, though. So let's see. Four, five, six. Okay. We have enough. Tap this. 
Alright, we have some blockers. Um, I could swing in with the Realm Walker. Um, could do it. May need to hold him back to block though, so I can survive. He's only got two cards in his hand. He'd have to like string together a ton of stuff. And this thing costs three. Alright, let's play this. Let's play this. We'll tap that. Alright, gain some life, gain some health. Now we got a jump blocker here, here, that's two. Then I'll probably just... We'll see. I mean, let's see what he plays. If he plays that... If he plays this, I don't think I'm going to block. I mean, I'll block, obviously, with Toski, and I'll probably block with this. But that's it. Next turn, we're going to kill his Luminancers. They only have one toughness. Because it's whenever an elf you control attacks. Um, target creature, opponent controls, gets negative one. So... This elf, let's pretend this elf attacks, but I'm probably going to chump block, but let's pretend this elf attacks. I could just do target this, negative one. Uh, the only non-elf is Toski and the innkeeper. And we've been gaining life with uh, the innkeeper. Okay. Blizzard Brawl. Okay. Okay, we're not dead. We're not dead. Uh, he'll block the biggest one. Seven. He'll block... Doesn't matter now. Um, one of those. So that's 12 damage. That's 12 damage. Do I need to block? I can do... No. Let's keep the Jasper up. Okay. All right. Let's kill this one. Okay. Now when the elves attack... All right, obviously, I'll just hold back the innkeeper for now. One, two. Okay, the two luminancers are gone. One... Two, oh, I'm short. I'm short one. Okay. Luminancers are gone. That's one. Two. Okay. Let's draw some, hopefully, we draw some gas. Or, wow. Okay. Bunch of land. But that's okay. We got chunk blockers. We gain life. There we go. Up to nine. I think we got this. Let's see. Good game. If he had, we would have had a protection, then we would have lost. Alright, cool. Good game. Nightmare on Elm Street. Or Elf Street, sorry. Elf Street. Alright. There you go. We didn't get the nightmare out though. I was I was wanting to get the uh, the swarm. And then uh, if we would have got Nexus, uh, that would have made everything uh, everything skeletons, elves, whatever. Alright, we can keep this. Yeah. I could do uh, Unite on turn three, or I could just play the Realm Walker on turn three. Either way, it's good. Probably play this turn three. I don't know. Because the uh, innkeeper won't get the buff. It would just be the light blade. So maybe wait on this one and do uh, Realm Walker. Okay. All right. Ooh, and we got removal, early removal. Could technically play the innkeeper, and if you put something down that's really 
troublesome. I could do it. No, he didn't. So let's just do the innkeeper. Alright. Okay. And then I'll probably just do Realm Walker next turn. Okay. Is he planning to wipe the board? Um, what's he planning to do? Uh, huh. What do I want to do? Let's play the Realm, Realm Walker. Let's do Elves. Done. Oh yeah, baby. The nightmare is going to begin next turn. And then if I get Nexus, it's going to be even better. Alright. What you got? Binding is going to kill the Realm Walker. Okay, thankfully I didn't have the Swarm out yet. Let's get the Swarm. Okay, attack. Alright, now I'll get Harold out. Oh man, if we can hit a Nexus or a Loath Queen with the Nexus. I mean, we'll see. Let's see. Toski would be nice too, because then I can start drawing some cards to reload the hand. That's what I really need. I need some type of uh, redraw. Okay, he's got a queen. That's gonna die. Subservience will be rewarded. Um do black. Well, I guess I could. What do I want to do here? Could pay four to just kill it. But this has well, it's not that big. Um I could play that and just kill one of his Yeah. We could play both. Because the blood sheet did the tokens. Alright. What do we got? Let's do Realm Walker. Let's do Elves. Whoops. Elves. Done. Draw a card. Let's kill one of those. Okay. I will. Then we'll attack. Right here, this has trample, and so if he blocks here, it takes two damage. She dies before they get reloaded. Okay, see, she's dead before they get reloaded, and now I get two more, and I gain two life. Oh yeah, let's go. Skeletal swarming, bringing the nightmare. Come on, baby, give me a nexus. Um, if he wipes the board, I can play another Herald and then bust out the Realm Walker. Um, let me see, what else do I have? Yeah, probably just do that. If he wipes the board. Okay. Nice, he returned everything. Oh man, all that worked for nothing. He's gonna kill my swarm! Oh yeah. Here we go. All right. Uh, what is it? One, two, three, four, five. I'm short one mana to play another Herald and the uh, War Master. I'm trying to figure out what he has in his deck. I'm gonna save the Herald for a board wipe. I'll just play this. It's the only problem with the, the the innkeeper. He's awesome with this deck. The only issue is he he does not he's not an elf. But if I had Nexus out, then yeah, he would be an elf. Okay. Well, creature. Let's do some damage. He took a little in the way with the exile and the shapeshifter. Okay. All right, he's gonna get rid of the swarm. One, two, three, four. He'll only have four mana left, so he won't be able to play the law and the. Uh... Yep, he took away my swarm. I guess what I'll do with the realm walker gone, we're gonna take, we're gonna get the war master back.
Okay. Um, what is he at? Two, three, four, five, six. I think I have enough for lethal. Yeah. Let's see. I hope he doesn't exile because I can get him to. Ah, oh, man. There went that. I don't really have anything good to get back. Um. Let's just play a creature. Oh, I'm bumming, man. So he had to exile. <laughs> I swear, man. Um. I only have one elf, so I'll just wait. Maybe I can hit another swarm. Let's see. Okay, it's got the spider queen. I'll have two tokens. Good game. All right, cool. Nightmare on Elf Street, guys. It's coming. All right. Let's see what we got next. All right. Driaguan. Driaguan. Okay. What do we got? Uh, this is doable. All right, let's play the Hydra first. It would have been better with the Sentinel, obviously, but you know, you can't. We got uh, artifact removal there. Okay, it's probably, is it dragons? Probably. Another swarm. Okay, I need to hit some lands now. Hit some lands, no bricking. No bricking allowed, come on. No brigging allowed, game. Okay, Grixis dragons? Yep, Grix. It said red, though. So red could just be Rakdos. Alright, I can't play... I mean, to 1-3, I guess I should play it. So that way, uh, turn, I get, I get Toski, then I can attack and draw a card. That'd be the play. Worst case scenario, then I just play Realm Walker. All right, come on, hit me, give me the land, give me the land. All right, beautiful. I didn't want to use this one, but at least this allows me to get uh, Toski out, and then we can draw some cards. All right, there we go. Swarms, swarms online for next turn. Swarm is online for next turn. That better not be a. Uh, sh shoot, what the heck is that counter spell? Um. Uh, saw it coming. No saw it coming. Hopefully that's a epiphany. Make that be epiphany. Let's go. Come on. I want to draw cards. I want to get my swarm down. That's what I want to do. I want to get my swarm down. Okay, so it can't be a counter. He could have Baleful Mastery, though. I would draw a card, but I don't want to lose Toski. Okay, let's play it now, because the Mass Vandal will get a little bump. Alright, he's got... Oh, he's the only skeleton, my bad. Uh, when more skeletons uh, come up, he'll, he'll rise with them, but at least he has Trample. Okay, took my, took my guy. So that's two, that's two skeletons though, guys. Oh, I'm gaining life! I'm gaining life! What are you doing, Chris? getting a toy go ahead get a toy what do you want all right we're gonna play that's Chris that's my son um, we're gonna play another swarm cuz I'm just gonna swarm them. and then you put it back okay and don't fall. that's good high five give me a high five on it. yeah yeah bring it out go ahead take it with you all right, he does have blue, so I don't like to see that. Um, he does have blue. Can I get another swarm down? Can I get another swarm down? Um, 
I don't know. I don't know if I can. Uh, let's see. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Yes! We got two swarms. We got two swarms. We got... No, we lost our draw. We lost our draw. Oh, baby! These... Whoa! <laughs> Holy crap! Let's go! What you got? Alright, take the turn. Alright. Come on, let me get back to my turn so I can win. Let me make it back to my turn. Alright, that's only two. Three. So he's got three mana. That's game. That is game! Sorry, bro. You did. You fought well. You fought well. Oh no, no three, no. Nope. Tiffany cost six in foretell mode seven, so he can't take another turn. That's it. He probably has one more removal though. Okay, that doesn't help. Oh, we'll get rid of that. We don't need that one. Or give it. You know what? We'll give it to one of your your cousins. We'll give it to one of your uh, cousins. Okay. All right. Good game, man. It, I wanted to swing it in. Oh man, nightmare on Elf Street. I'll put this right here so I can get it. Okay. I was playing with it so, and my birthday so my cousins can okay. get it. Okay. So my birthday can come out. So they can come out? Okay. So they can get the good one. And we're back. Oh my goodness, I had a blast playing this deck. This deck is fun. It's fun and. Man, oh man, skeleton swarming. Woo, skeletal, skeletal swarm. Woo, that's all I gotta say. Holy crap, man! If you get if you get this out and you're not and your opponent's not pressuring you, you're woo, you're 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 doing it. Then you get the mask wood on top of that to make everything skeletons. Oh man, this this was a fun deck. This was a fun deck. Um, I like I like how it's got a low curve in the beginning. So it kind of goes really low curve, you know, dips down, and then in the fourth slot we have a lot. But man, I really like this deck. This deck was fun, and it was competitive. I mean, I was, I was winning. I was winning in diamond. Um, you know, we can always make changes. You know, I'm gonna have to do. Eventually, I'll come back and revisit this deck with uh, updates. I'll probably do it. Obviously, I'd want to do it more after the uh, the new set comes out in september um but man i really like swarming i really like swarming i think this is a really cool card and if you can you happen to turn all your creatures into skeletons it buffs them the creatures get buffed and they all get trampled which is huge especially when you're going against other you know decks that like to create a lot of tokens thinking that you know they can chunk block oh yeah no no problem i'll just make a bunch of tokens and slow my opponent down till i get my blood on the snow and yada 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 not with this one you get the swarming out that's another thing you're going against some control decks they like to wipe the board every turn wipe the board wipe the board you just keep coming back with with skeletons keep coming back with skeletons um i think it's really cool i think this deck is really cool i really enjoyed playing it um this deck can definitely do put in some work for you guys um you know obviously like i said we could always improve stuff um, and I would look to, I would definitely look to try to improve, uh, later on, especially once the new set comes out and we can start adding new cards to it. Maybe get a better one drop than the Blight Blade. Um, but you know, he'll, he'll be all right. He's cheap to play. He has Death Touch, so he's a nice little speed bump. Um, but other than that, I appreciate you guys. Please remember to like and subscribe. Tell your friends. We're trying to build the channel. Um, and I appreciate you guys watching so much. Thank you. And have a good day. Nightmare on Elf Street!